In this video, we're gonna be talking about a brand new feature that Amazon is adding into their Amazon pay-per-click advertising arsenal. Hey, this is Nick Hodge with Sellers Arena, and this new feature is within sponsored brands, and you may have heard of sponsored brand video ads, but this is specifically sponsored brand video product targeting ads. All right, so jumping right in here. Now, video ads are relatively new in general, but the video product targeting ads are very new and we're not even seeing them on across any categories except for one category and that's the book category for now. It remains to be seen to where exactly we'll, we'll see these or how they will show up, that is. So yeah, stay tuned for that. We'll probably be making more strategy related videos related to this specific topic later. But for now, we'll just go over what we can see for now. And I wanna go over just some brief strategy ideas or do's and don'ts about around video ads in general to make sure you are doing them right, even for the video ads that, you're, that are already commonly seen in the search results as you're scrolling through the Amazon page. I mean, video ads are a great addition and usually you can repurpose them also for your listing. So it's a great thing to do to invest in for your products and your ads. Okay, so let's go ahead and scroll down and you know, we're specifically talking about the product targeting video ads for this video. So this is what we can currently see and how they will probably be showing up in some form or fashion later on on the other types of product listings. Now, as you can see, this first one, just some things to note here, is they're showing a shop the store link, a link directly to the store, but also a link directly to the, the listing itself. So they're giving you two options for this. Notice also the video is playing in this first slot, the video is auto playing. The second two slots, not playing. So it may be better to try to who knows, bid higher to get yourself in that first slot. Maybe also better to be at least in the top three to make sure you're showing because you could be anywhere in this. It looks like there's two pages here in this case, but again, probably just not that many people running video ads right now in this category. And we, we've searched across the other categories as of making this video as of over the past couple of weeks, we have not seen even video product targeting ads. We've started setting them up specifically for some of our clients that we manage and they're not showing up. So it will remain to be seen of how they actually show up right now. It's looking like it'll be showing up right below the frequently bought together section where it normally used to be just the normal product targeting ads, the sponsored product targeting ads. If we take a look at, let's just hop over to look at some kayaks here just to get an example, jump into this listing here. And if we scroll down, but yeah, you'll get to the frequently bought together section and then you'll see, you know, these sponsored product ads that we're normally used to seeing. Who knows, it may end up pushing these down and then we'll have the video product targeting ads here. That's what I'm guessing because Amazon really seems to be pushing those lately. So I'm guessing that's going to be the case. Um, otherwise, what would be the point? Okay, so now let me just back up a step here because I want to show you some examples of some do's and don'ts in general on video ads. And, you know, this will go whether for the product targeting style of video ads or, you know, the ones that normally show up in the search results as that are already commonly seen now. I would recommend running video ads for whatever product you have. There's always a great way to show off your product that you can't do with just photos and copy on the listing. And again, these can be repurposed for your listing to better show off your brand and your product and for your ads. Just looking at the thumbnail on some of these, you know, it's not gonna really show off the product as well as this beautiful video showing the guy out in nature, for example, in this case, out enjoying nature in his kayak, showing off the product in use. Also, you know, they can look at some other benefits here, the video ads, you know, they can look at how the products use or what it's for without even clicking on it. So it could save you some money. They wouldn't even have to click on the ad to see about the product. Now, one thing I will note, just looking at this video ad in particular, you know, it looks good. I mean, it's as far as the video and it's beautiful. The guy's out fishing. It's great. 
but you know, there's some things that could be better. For example, like this is the beginning of the video, really slow. So maybe we want to actually have some, take what would be your bullet points on your listing and put those into the video also, like pointing out features and benefits and things that are good about this kayak versus other kayaks. So you want to be showing those things off on the video itself. Cause again, people may just be scrolling through with no sound. I'm sure. They have some music there. You want to either, you could even have a voiceover telling about the product. If the person does decide to unmute the video, there's a lot of things you can do to help explain your product effectively in the video ads that you can do with the text and just normal photos. So for example, here's another video ad of another kayak. Now let's just watch this for a second. Again, beautiful scenery showing off the product in use, but let's hang on for a second here and take a look at what else they do. All right. Again, they're showing off the features they have. They're highlighting them. They're listing them out with text that hopefully that matches their brand guidelines. That's another thing you want to keep in mind when you're creating these video ads is you want to match your brand guidelines. If this is a brand you're really trying to grow, you want to make sure the fonts, the colors, everything kind of matches the, the music in the video. Maybe even the voiceover is kind of fitting for the product. Okay. So that's some do's and don'ts. Also call to actions. Sometimes we produce some video ads for some clients and we got away with call to actions, but a lot of times they end up flagging it. It can depend on actually who reviews the video in seller central when you submit it usually it's an actual person and some are more strict than others sometimes you can submit a video and then just uh, if it doesn't work out you just submit it again and then it does work out so it can just depend there in general i don't think they like call to actions at the end though and we'll go over some other do's and don'ts as far as like what you can and can't put in the video in a second when we actually do a little walkthrough. But one other thing to keep in mind and for the video, I know this is kayak, even with a supplement, you can just show healthy people having fun, enjoying their life, being healthy. Like for example, if it's a vitamin C supplement, you may be thinking, how can I make a video about that? Well, I mean, obviously you can just show slides of the product in motion to help stand out in the search results. And then like, again, take those repurpose those bullet points you already have, shorten them, of course, make them more concise, and point out, you know, different things about the product, the supplement and its benefits in the video. But then again, throw in some video clips. You can get some stock video from various websites like Pexels even, or, uh, you know, there's some other paid websites where you can get that too. And then you can put those clips in to just show people enjoying their life and using your supplements, or you can shoot video people actually holding your bottle and taking the pills or whatever it is. So there's a various ways you can do it. I mean, even with this one where we have a book, you know, that's just showing off the book. Who would have thought you could make a video about a book? But again, of course, this is a, it looks like a 3d coloring book, but you get the idea. You can kind of tell about it and tell how it, you know, it's good for your kids or whoever it's for. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is just go ahead and get into how to create or just show you how to put together video product targeting ad, how it's put together in seller central currently, even though they are not actually running, they are allowing you to set them up so you can go ahead and get them set up and get them prepared and ready to go for when they do actually start showing on Amazon. So you can be some of the first ones to use it. All right. So we'll go ahead and click on sponsored brand because this is a sponsored brand ad. And that's one of the reasons why they're linking to the store also in this is because usually it's all about the brand when you're talking about these types of ads, not just the specific product. Okay. So that's another side note. You want to make sure you have your store well put together. We'll probably be making some videos about that later on about specifically how to set up your store properly. So yeah, when they come in, they're not confused or lost. Okay. So we'll go ahead and set this up with a good naming convention. Usually we might do S A S B V for because it's sellers arena and it's sponsored brand and it's video. Okay. And then we might put the name of the product. There we go. And we'll do, let's just say, well, let me see what we're going to actually, I'm going to pick a random product here. First, let me go pick video it's jumping around here a little bit, guys. I'm just going to search all of Amazon and we'll just do baby car seat as an example. 
Okay, looks good there. So we'll go ahead and select that one as our product. And so we'll say baby car seat. We're gonna make this our product attribute targeting. We shorten that and we abbreviate as, that as PAT. Okay, and we're gonna have this in a portfolio. Good to always set that in a portfolio for now. We're just leaving it out. Okay, so we're not gonna have an end date. We'll set it in a budget. We'll just say $20 for now to start. And yeah, so we've got our product selected. Now here's gonna get into the kind of like video specs. You wanna make sure you look these over and follow these guidelines as far as the how you put together your video, the production, etc. Make sure you're meeting these guidelines before you actually uh, upload them. So make sure you just review this in detail before you start producing your video, especially if you're shooting one brand new. Okay, and so you can also get some more details here about that. So big thing to note here is the video is between six and 45 seconds. Amazon has recommended, usually you wanna do at least 30 to 45. You have that 45 seconds, so why not make a really good engaging video to show off your product? Use as much of that time as you can, um, unless you, it, you just don't need that much time. If you can explain everything and it's not too fast or blows by too fast or doesn't hit them too quickly, you can do shorter. But yeah, some other major things to note here, depending you know where you're gonna be running the ad, you, know, you wanna make sure the language is the same, you know, a lot of people shop on mobile, so you want to make sure it is legible on mobile. Make sure you have no text in the lower right corner. And again, they'll show you, we can look at that template here just to kind of get an idea. So as you can see here, I mean, one of the major things they don't want you to, it looks like they have the volume button in the lower right hand corner. So you, gotta, you want to make sure you're not, you know, covering that up. That would not be good. Go ahead and scroll through this and get a better idea about these guidelines specifically and, and best practices. I don't wanna get go too deep into that in this video. So we'll go ahead and go back here. And again, we wanna do product targeting in this case. So for your product targeting, it's, it's similar to other product targeting ads. Depending on your strategy, you could set this up to defensively to run on other products in your catalog and vice versa. You know, you can have them running on each other's pages to kind of defend that position that real estate on your listing you could run a category campaign where you're running to the main category other related categories kind of in a more broad effort or research effort to figure out what products are going to convert better or you can run on individual products you know once you do your own research or amazon suggestions here but i would suggest doing some of your own research i'll show you how to do that here in a second but we'll just go ahead and add one for now Okay, just to get a target in there. And then you would just submit for review. But here's the thing. If you're gonna do your own research, one thing we like to do, a new thing that has been added to Helium 10, let me switch over here, and that is their market tracker. So if you go, if you don't have Helium 10, definitely check out a free trial. We'll have a link down on the bottom so you can just try this out. But yeah, market tracker, this is a really awesome tool and I'll have another link down in the description below so you can learn about how to use it, etc. But again, you can basically add all the products in your market and Amazon will give you suggestions here that you can add in and briefly, I mean, this is showing all the products that we're currently tracking in our market and you can see here that we've got more suggestions. So they'll continually load up more suggestions you can approve or deny. Generally, you'll get through them pretty quick depending on the size of your market. Like the first couple of days, Amazon will kind of sweep, or sorry, Helium 10 will kind of sweep Amazon to pull in whatever related products they can find based on the keywords you select when you're initially setting up your market tracker tool. Again, check out the video in the description to go. I'll go more into detail about that. And once you get into Helium 10 too, you can watch their tutorials also for more clarity. But I mean, just right off looking at this, we can get an idea of what market share the top competitors have. In this case, for our product, this is not the baby seat. This is another product that we have, but we have currently 47% of the market in this category but we can look at okay what are the other competitors doing in our category and who do we that have a good share of the market that we need to go after okay so we can specifically go after these people with our targeting ads 
with our video product targeting ads, with our sponsored display product targeting ads, all of it, okay? But yeah, specifically for this video with our video product targeting ads, which we've already set up, ready for Amazon to finish rolling them out. So we'll be all ready to go. So I hope you got some value out of this video. I know we couldn't go too in depth because they're just not, they haven't fully rolled them out yet, but I just wanted to give you a quick walkthrough so you guys can be prepared with your, have your video ads set up because they are available to be set up. They're just not actually running in a lot of categories quite yet. So just make sure you like the video if you got some value out of it and subscribe as we'll be making more videos about this new feature, this new video ad type once it's fully rolled out. And until next time, this is Nick Hodge with Sellers Arena and I'll see you in the next one.